Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G5 laptop. This one is a 5590 model. The regulatory model is a P82F 5100. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the internal battery. If your battery is not holding up anymore, try you just wanna replace it or simply remove it. You can use it without the battery. It's even better to use it without the battery. The charger will last you longer and the less component of the motherboard is gonna be used. But just remember, once the power goes off, the, the laptop is gonna turn on, turn off. So that's the only disadvantage. There's no any extra, is not, there's no harm if you run the laptop without the battery, that's perfectly fine. So people always ask me, can I run the laptop without the battery? Sure you can, and there'll be no problem for it. The charger is gonna give you less ampere, uh, which makes the charger last a little longer. All right, so to remove the battery, first we need to power off the laptop, flip it upside down. We're gonna grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using an iFix screwdriver set. We're gonna use a Phillips number one, and we're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover here, except two mid back screws. We got these two screws at the back, they have a little C lock on them on the other side that will prevent the screws coming out. And there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But for now, we're gonna remove all the screws all around it in the front end sides, and all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to your own upgrade or replacement or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed the screws, I'm gonna show you guys the magic of the C-lock. So you guys can see this one here, there's a screw right here. I'm gonna, op once I open this one, you're gonna see the cover separating from, uh, from the top side. So as I turn, it's gonna push the cover away from itself, and there you have the opening. Once I do this one over here, same thing, and the cover gets pulled away. And all you need to do right now is to grab the cover and pull it backward. And that's it. And there you have your bottom chassis open up. So this is why I like Dell laptops because they make it easy for you to do your own services. All right, down here, you're gonna see the battery right in here. The model for this battery, battery type is 1F22N. Is a 15.2 volt battery, 60 watt hour battery. Those are the information for this one. And there's another one, it says limit charging voltage is a 17.6. Model again, 1F22N. To remove the battery, you wanna grab this flip thing right in here, this plastic thing, and you wanna pull it upwards, just like that. And you will disconnect the connector right there. And the BIOS battery is right over here. The BIOS battery, you don't need to replace it. It needs to be replaced every seven, eight years probably. But as long as this battery is in here, the BIOS battery doesn't uh, degrade. To remove it, there's a tiny jack you pull back and just, these are simple CR2032 with a wire attached to it. Anyway, back to this main battery. You wanna remove four screws. One, two, three, four screws. Once you remove these four screws, you wanna grab the battery, bring it up, and that's it. And there you have it. I don't know why they have this. Not actually taped in nicely. So yeah. So let's say that you got the new battery in. All you need to do is to bring, put it right on top, make sure the screw holes match, put it right evenly on top, and put the four screws for the battery. Uh, you, this is very, very important. Always make sure double check nicely. Bring the jack evenly. Make sure all the pins align before you push it down. They have to align over the jack and then you just wanna push it right into the jack. Don't just go assuming that it's aligned. Make sure you look at the pins and it goes straight in there. You don't wanna make a shortage right in there. Once you have the battery in there, and there's a really important tip about how you're supposed to do your initial charge. It's very, very important. Before we do that, just put the cover on, push down the sides, 
and you want to screw down these two seal lock and it's going to pull the cover and the last thing would be to put the screws at the bottom and uh, side of the laptop and regarding the charging of the battery it's important that you do not turn on the laptop once you put the new battery in plug in the charger and leave it in an off mode with the charger plugged in at least for five to six hours after five to six hours you want to power on without the charger and let it drain down slowly the battery don't put any game or anything like that make sure it discharges normally by watching a youtube channel or a movie or something like that uh, with the screen brightness at 50. once the charge went down to 20 or 10 percent whatever even low you want to power it off and leave it charging while it's off for another five to six hours and after that you can use it as you wish that will be the best Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery for your Dell G5 5590 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.